Thanks, Troy. Well, the downtown boxing gym is transforming the lives of students through mentorship and a variety of resources, really helping students succeed. This morning, Detroit's Pizzeria Pie Size teaming up with the gym on a special pizza benefiting its out-of-school programming. And to tell us more about the gym and the pizza, we're joined by the founder of Pie Size, Jeremy, and Molly from the Downtown Boxing Gym. Thanks a lot for coming in. Really appreciate that. So, Molly, let's start with you. Tell us about the boxing gym and the kind of food lessons and the food that the kids there get. Yeah, so the boxing gym is an out of school time program for kids and we serve kids eight to 18. So we do a lot of things. Boxing is sort of just like a very small part of what we do. We do a lot of academics and different types of sports and arts and we have a steam lab. And my role there, um, I'm actually like creating a culinary arts program for the kids. So we do like a, a thousand from scratch meals per week. Amazing. And then we also like teach culinary arts classes, so. Yeah. And Jeremy, tell us a little bit more about PiSci and how you decided to partner up with the gym. Well, PiSci opened in 2016 with our first store on Trumbull in Detroit, across from Wayne State. Uh, we've always been about inventive pizzas and PiSci, pizza science. It's kind of the theme for things. So we do seasonal menus that rotate in and out. We do breakfast pizzas on the weekends, and we do a weekly special. Uh, from time to time, we do collaboration with people, other chefs in the city, and then we usually like to do proceeds from the collaborations to good programs, like so, DDG. Yeah. I was going to tell us a little bit more about the collaboration. Tell us what piece of people need to buy or whatnot for money to go to the program. So this week, the pizza, which is featured right here, is called the Scrambo. It is a loaded potato. The Scrambo? <laughs> Scrambo, <laughs> okay. yeah. Scrambled eggs on it. Um, so, yeah, we would like to do uh, punny names, punny. It works. <laughs> yeah, it works. With our pizzas. Yeah, it's catchy. So, uh, it will be the special. It started yesterday, Monday, and will run through Sunday. And, yeah, you can call and order it. You can get it in our square Detroit-style format, our hand-tossed round format or on our gluten-free crust. Also, there are vegan and vegetarian options. So I understand you're going to be making one here, yes, right? Is that right? Yeah, we're going to yeah. work. <laughs> we are. We're going to put you to work. We're going we're gonna to make the pizza and talk at the same time. Tell us what's on the scrambo. So we decided with this pizza to start with our signature red sauce. A lot of our pizzas will be a white pizza, which is garlic oil, or it will be our traditional red sauce. It's not really a marinara because it's not cooked, but it's just tomatoes, water, and spices, but it's really good. We make it fresh every day, and... It's really good. I like how you put that in there. It's really good. Of course it's good. I got to smell it. <laughs> yeah. now, now, Molly, as Jeremy's uh, making this uh, pie over there, why don't you tell us how important it is for local businesses like that pie side to get on board to help your program? Yeah, it, it was, I was so thrilled when Jeremy came to me and like said that he, he they do like these kind of collaborations at PiSci because it is just like another way to get the word out to about the gym and like all the cool work that's going on there um, to people who also just want to eat a delicious pizza. <laughs> we came up with this pizza with the kids because they are really into this like loaded potato dinner that we'll do once in a while and then they also love breakfast for dinner so it's kind of like a mashup of those two things. Um, so we just wanted to like represent like what the kids actually really like at the gym and then you know just put it in the format of like you know Jeremy's Potatoes yeah. pizza science. Pizza. And, yeah, right. <laughs> and we've talked a lot before about um, how this benefits these these students right in these programs and folks always want to know where their money is going. Totally. So what are some of the specifics? How do you describe where the money actually gets funneled into? So there's just like so much programming that goes into the gym and um, we do we do like it's really led by student voice so the Students, like, they love culinary arts, they love food, so they actually, like, built out this commercial kitchen and brought me on to help them with their culinary arts program. And we do, we, basically, it's, like, a lot about mentorship at the gym, so um, the kids stay in the program from the time they're 8 until they're 18 and even beyond. So they help them, like, you know, apply for scholarships and, like, get into colleges, and we have a 100% graduation rate for the kids at the gym. Well, that's impressive. Hey, Jeremy, was that uh, okra you put on there? Uh, uh, those, those are or pickles. Are those or pickles? Yeah, little pickles. Yeah. Like, yeah. Little pickles. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I was like, wow, this is uh, some exotic ingredients yes. here. So you, you know, put a little bacon on top with the a eggs little as well? bacon on top. Yeah, and people. Then, people. The the age long question is, does pineapple belong on pizzas? Mm. And Paisai is a very firm believer that it does. Yes, but I pickles. Can see. Are on almost all of our seasonal menus, and pickles are really great on pizzas, you I've guys. I've never had a, a pickles on a pizza, have you? No, but if a pie size put it on there, I know I it's a, a favorite. 
I would definitely try that. And then you're going to finish it off with some scallions, it looks yeah, like, Yeah, so right, at Jeremy? this point, I'm putting a little top cheese on it. We use a whole milk mozzarella. This is going to go in the oven. We don't have an oven here right now. <laughs> no, I was going to say, we're missing an oven. <laughs> Darn it. This would go in the oven and get cooked for about 12 minutes at 550 degrees and then come out. It would get cut and then it would be topped with a presentation. Molly made a good. really awesome creme fraiche for this. Oh, and so you top this with creme yeah. fraiche? Yes. Me and some creme sriracha. And then another sriracha. We call that a double drizzle because it's two drizzles. So <laughs> double drizzle. That makes sense. And then topped it with a little bit of fresh uh, green onion and dill. And yeah, that's the pizza, you guys. That looks fantastic. There's your breakfast. That's tell, it. Tell <laughs> folks how they can get this pizza and how they can help. So you can get this pizza by ordering at either of our stores. We just opened our second location in Oak Park on Nine Mile, and that opened about a month ago. So both locations all week long, this pizza is available. Call, you can order online. Um, yeah, come on in, get it. Proceeds go to the DBG. It's great. The pizza great. looks fantastic. Yes. Can't wait to heat a piece of that up and put it down my gullet. That looks it good. Looks or good. Eat it cold. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll leave that to you. She's a little more hardier than me. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hey, thanks for coming by. Tell us all Thank about you. the program. We appreciate you guys. Yeah. Thank Time you. Time for a quick break here on CBS News Drive 7. We're back in a couple of minutes.